Hello everyone. In this presentation I am going to explain in detail about how to anesthetize the hot tooth. Hot tooth is one of the frequently encountered problem where the dentist will find it very difficult to anesthetize the tooth. The patient will be coming with a severe or extreme pain and the dentist will have hard time doing the treatment. I am Dr. Benin and if you like this video kindly consider subscribing to my youtube channel smart dentistry i will make videos that will be useful for dentists and dental students all the teeth in the oral cavity when get inflamed are prone for becoming like a hot tooth that is severely painful and very symptomatic but in my experience the hot tooth which we find it very difficult to manage will be the mandibular molars in case of any of the maxillary molars, if there is a hot tooth, an infiltration to the palatal aspect that is close to the palatal root of the maxillary molar will anesthetize the tooth immediately and we can do the treatment without any problem. And if you perform root canal treatment in your practice regularly, then you must be knowing how difficult it is to anesthetize the hot tooth. I have put forward some six strategies which will be really helpful for each and every one of the dentist to manage the tooth which is difficult to anesthetize. The first and foremost which is quite important is to understand that sometimes the local anesthetic solution can take a bit more time to anesthetize the tooth. So it is always a good practice to wait for three to five minutes extra compared to the usual anesthesia as the tooth or especially in particular the tooth pulp is inflamed the chances for the tooth to get anesthetized is more so my first advice or the technique which i follow in my practice to wait for some extra time than the usual time after giving anesthesia in pretty some of the cases this technique is fairly adequate and enough and the anesthesia will work. The second technique, the patient is still having pain or you are unable to do or proceed with the treatment, it is better to proceed with repeating the inferior alveolar nerve block. But make sure that this time when you are injecting the local anesthetic solution, inject the solution a bit more posteriorly than the solution where you have deposited previously. It is a common finding that if the solution is deposited anteriorly, there could be soft tissue anesthesia, but there will be inadequate pulpal anesthesia. So in those cases, it is always advisable or it's a good practice to deposit the local anesthetic solution a bit posterior to the position where you have previously given the inferior alveolar nerve block. Maybe in 20 to 30 percentage of the cases, that repeating the inferior alveolar nerve block will give better results. If you are familiar with the Gogates or Vassarani Akinosi technique, then it is better to go for such techniques whenever you are repeating the local anesthesia. The third technique which I practice regularly is to go for an infiltration. Most of you might be thinking that for a mandibular molar, infiltration do not work. Yes, it do not work. But in many cases, the pain does not arise only from the pulp but it also from the vibration which is induced by the touch of the air rotor to the tooth which is taken by the periodontal ligament and it will be felt as an extreme pain for the patient who is already suffering from severe pain. In those situations a buccal infiltration and maybe it is accompanied by a lingual infiltration will be really helpful. The lingual infiltration close to the apical region of the mandibular roots after a careful aspiration will be really helpful in anesthetizing the mylohyoid nerve. In some tooth, there will be an accessory innervation along with the mylohyoid nerve. The lingual infiltration will be really helpful for blocking those accessory innervation. Even if this technique is not working, then we can proceed for the intraligamentary injection. In this technique, the needle is forced between the tooth and the gingiva that is inside the periodontal ligament space. And if you are trying to inject the local anesthesia, it will be hard or impossible to inject the local anesthetic solution 
in the intraligamentary space but a forceful injection will definitely anesthetize the tooth adequately and if you are doing some surgical procedure like maybe an extraction this intraligamentary injection will be really helpful because it will eliminate almost all the pain which is associated with the tooth we can go for a fairly easy painless extraction procedure if you are doing a root canal treatment most circumstances this is adequate to anesthetize even the pulp but even if it is not working or the patient is still apprehensive I would go for this alternative technique. Let's consider that you are doing root canal treatment for a mandibular molar with a proximal caries lesion. We always proceed with removal of the dental caries followed by preparation of the access cavity. But in those circumstances when there is extreme pain felt by the patient, follow this technique. Start an access cavity preparation, a location quite, which is quite far away from the area where you are working it's because whenever there is a pulpal exposure or whenever you are working close to the pulp there will be extreme pain and the pulp which is close to that area will be extremely inflamed so stop working close to the inflamed area and start the preparation quite far away from that location in my practice i would definitely say that this will be a really helpful technique or a tip that will be helping you all whenever you are doing access preparation in a tooth which is impossible to anesthetize. Some of you might be wondering how does this technique works but in truth this really works. But everything fails and still the patient is not able to tolerate the ultimate weapon for each and every endodontist while doing root canal treatment is the intrapulpal anesthesia. Before giving intrapulpal anesthesia, we must inform the patient the procedure is going to be painful and you should not practice this procedure. Patients who are under treatment for seizures, cardiac problems or patients who are having extreme anxiety for doing this procedure, remove the caries as much as possible. No need for a complete removal of the decay is needed because it will be difficult to remove the complete decay whenever the patient is reporting pain. Then take a small needle bar and make a small entry inside the pulp chamber. After following the first five strategies, it will not be that painful to make an entry inside the pulp chamber with a needle bar. Once a small entry is made inside the pulp chamber, take a thin gauge needle, preferably a 30 gauge needle will be adequate. Forcefully push the needle through the hole which is made inside the pulp chamber and make sure that it is tightly fitting. Then forcefully inject the local anesthetic solution inside the pulp chamber. Again, the patient might be feeling pain for a second and if the patient tells or feels pain for a second or so, then the intrapulpal anesthesia has worked. And if there is no positive pressure or if the local anesthetic solution is easily oozing out then there will be no anesthesia obtained. So make sure that the needle is wedged tightly inside through the small opening inside the pulp chamber and forcefully inject the local anesthetic solution inside the pulp. After injecting, hold it in that position for 3 to 5 seconds so that the pulp will get anesthetized. And telling the truth, this intrapulpal anesthetic technique works extremely great and the patient will have zero pain after giving intrapulpal anesthesia. Even there was a hot tooth, the patient will have no pain after a successful intrapulpal anesthesia. But the only problem is giving a good intrapulpal anesthesia will take a steep learning curve. But this is the ultimate weapon that each and every one of you must be having practiced so that you can do the treatment without much pain caused to your patient. So I hope one among these following six strategies will be helping you to anesthetize a tooth which is very difficult or impossible to anesthetize by other means. Without a proper anesthesia, it is impossible to expect a good cooperation from the patient and without a good patient cooperation, it is impossible to do a good treatment for your patient. Thank you for watching. 
have a great day